Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, we're now halfway through the month of November, and temperature-wise and also with regard to precip, we're pretty close to normal for the Hartford area halfway through the month, 15 days. And as we move forward in time, we have some temperature swings to bring you that will take us from below normal to well above. So, in fact, here in the 11 o'clock hour, we've got temps as cool as or as chilly as the mid-30s in the Northwest Hills. 41 in Hartford, 43 New Haven, 40 Willimantic, and 41 in Groton. So, uh, we've got a west northwesterly wind still up at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, that wind direction is filtering some chillier air into the state and of course making it feel even colder. Wind chill values Waterbury, Torrington, Salisbury in the mid and upper 20s right now. Below freezing by a couple degrees. Feels like 30 in Putnam, 34 in Meriden, 33 right now the wind chill in Bridgeport. So that wind remains up a bit as temperatures continue to go down tonight. Again, from Hartford, we've got great visibility. Uh, just a few scattered clouds out there looking live from our capital city and from southeast Connecticut. Our view from New London, uh, a pretty tranquil evening, at least from the inside looking out. Uh, and across the region, a bit some Body snow showers off to our northwest, all with the uh, arrival of some of this cooler air on this northwesterly flow as it works across the Great Lakes and into uh, our uh, in our direction. So we've got this departing storm system, an area of low pressure up across the Canadian Maritimes, high pressure from the southwest building. And so between the two, we've got that west northwesterly breeze. So again, up a bit tomorrow as well. Overnight, forecasting temperatures should drop to freezing, if not colder than that, especially across western and northwest Connecticut, mid and upper 20s there. Uh, upper 20s in the usual colder spots of northeast Connecticut along the shoreline 32 to 35. So uh, these temperatures pretty close to what's considered typical or average for this time of year. And by tomorrow, we're going to start off the day with some sunshine by the afternoon. Just a few clouds develop and pass through uh, overhead. So uh, looking at a much brighter day tomorrow compared to today when we had at times more clouds and sun. Uh, so temperature wise, again, like today, mid and upper 40s for many communities, perhaps touching 50 for a, a few communities along the shoreline uh, between 40 and 45 in the northwest hills. And again, you factor in a little bit of a breeze. It's going to make it feel at times a couple degrees chillier. For our Wednesday, this is when we turn the corner on this round of chilly air as a warming trend kicks in. So cold to start again in the 20s, and we'll start off with a clear sky. But then as the day moves forward, we'll start to see some clouds build and develop across southern New England. But we remain dry as temperatures by Wednesday warm into the lower 50s, which is more in line with normal typical temperatures for this time of November. But by Thursday, a strengthening southwesterly flow is going to help boost temperatures into the 60s. We're not talking 61, 62, but 66, 67. Uh, clouds increase late in the day. Some showers become likely toward and after sunset with the arrival of a cold front. Behind that front, 20 degrees cooler Friday compared to Thursday, and that will set the stage for a chilly weekend. Morning lows in the 20s. Saturday, mostly sunny, mid to upper 40s. Then on Sunday, we'll see at times more clouds and sun, perhaps some scattered showers. Not a washout. Temperatures within a couple degrees of 50. Then watching uh, potentially some rain and snow showers. The uh, storm system uh, for Monday of next week. Shoreline highs as warm as the mid 60s Thursday. Then turning cooler as well. Again, upper 40s by Friday afternoon. Okay.